Good morning, guys. So, we are going to get started in here because as you can see, there's a big mess. I already had my quick little breakfast here. One of these little um, Chobani flips. Um, it's not very keto friendly, but I did not feel like taking stuff out because I don't want to have to clean extra stuff. I already have a lot to do. Um, Miss Bella here, <laughs> she is wanting to go outside, but it's so gloomy. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so the goal today is to get this kitchen done, especially the cabinets. I'm going to wipe them down, um, organize here. And then this other mess here is where, uh, I'm just not sure. Um, so all that obviously is trash. Um, so I want to get this kitchen area and then possibly that area, which I don't think that's going to happen because those, all that's been there for like more than five months. Um, and it's all trash. Actually, I don't think it's trash. I think it's going upstairs in the attic. And then I'm not going to worry about anything over there. Um, I have to do stuff over here and... I think that's it. Let's see if we can find Bella. She wants to be outside somewhere. She's probably in this room. Let's see. Yep. Girl. This is the only room that has the blinds open. And I shut the blinds for her because she is a half, um, she's half German Shepherd, half Great Pyrenees. And if you guys know anything about Great Pyrenees, they love to bark at anything that moves. A leaf can blow by and she will just bark and bark and bark. So we have to close, um, shut the blinds. There are people working outside, um, gas people, I think. Um, so she just wants to go outside, but I am not going to let her go outside because she will bother everybody. Um, she does not know personal space. She's super friendly. She will lick you to death, but she does not know personal space. So this is the only room in here um, that has the blinds open. So this is where she snuck into. Um, oh, and somebody is approaching. I think that's our bug man. He likes to spray outside. And now, you guys, she's about to bark. I think I'll leave it here for just a second until she barks. She is so loud and it echoes in the house. Um, but our bug guy comes, I think, once a month and he sprays outside. Um, he doesn't come inside. He just goes around the house. And so I'm definitely not going to let her outside, even though it's pet friendly. Everything he uses um, is pet friendly. But like I said, she will she will bug you. She does not know six feet distance. <laughs> um, but Bella, you going to stay in here? I have to start cleaning. I'm trying to see if she'll bark because y'all that bark is allowed. Oh, OK. She also has hip dysplasia. So that's why she got up like that. I'm sorry, but you cannot. She's super heavy as well. She weighs about 120, I think. Um, she's a big girl, but we're gonna go ahead and start this because I have lots to do today. Oh, and I also want to put this together. So this right here is, um, let's see if I can show you, um, some new storage that I got. I wanna put it together and put it over here in this area. I don't think I'm gonna get to that today. and. From the reviews online, I got this off of Overstock. Um, they say it's kind of um, takes a while to build, so I might wait for my husband. Um, but I really want to start in here because I have to go pick up my son as well. So um, we're going to go ahead and start now. But let me show you how gloomy it is outside. Bella's probably going to run this way once the store opens. Okay. <laughs> um yeah it's super ugly outside y'all oh this weather is so bad but we're gonna go ahead and get started <sighs> she's so nosy loud but not too good at keeping promises no Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we are going to try and get my house back in order. It has been a mess ever since we started working on that formal dining room, turning it into a bedroom. 
we did get it done but everything that came out of that room is either in our living room or it is at the front um entrance so i wanted to tackle that on this day which i got everything done except um i did not get to build the furniture piece that i bought off of overstock so that will have to i don't know i have to work that in somehow another day but i did get everything done and i was so happy at the end when i lit my candles and when my husband got home that evening he was just in shock he was like oh my gosh our home actually looks like a home now but we're gonna go ahead and get into this video hope you guys enjoy it give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into this Hey y'all, if you are new here, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Carla and I am a wife and a mom and I have four kids, but let me explain that to you guys. So both my husband and I were married previously and I have one child from that marriage and he has two, but we are also raising my husband's nephew. So whenever someone asks, oh, how many kids do y'all have? We always say four, we always include him. Um, now for my job. So I used to work in radiology. My husband works in aviation. And when I say I used to work in radiology, that's because as of last month, I no longer work in radiology. Um, that's a decision that both my husband and I came to and we decided that that's the best thing for our family. And a lot of people ask me why um, I decided to stay at home, given that I don't have any small children, given that two of our kids have permits. Um, I just kind of look at them kind of awkwardly because um, I didn't know that the requirement to be a stay at home mom um, was that you have to have toddlers. I didn't know that. I don't know. Um, so I think a lot of people think if you stay at home, you just have small children, but that's not always the case. There's a lot of moms that stay at home or and a lot of dads that stay at home. Um, but this, this was a decision that um, we came to and we felt like it was best for us. Um, I can go into more detail as to why, um, but I will not do that in this video. I can make another video. If you guys have questions, you can leave them down below. Um, but that is all that I'll share about that. Um, I do live in Alabama. I moved here for, from Georgia about four years ago, and I love it. I love living here. Um, and now that I am a stay-at-home mom, I'm able to do YouTube, which I love. And I love sharing cleaning, organization, and makeovers. And now I will get to do more of that because I have the time to do it now. Before being at work from eight to five did not allow me to film videos like I wanted. Um, if I wanted to film a video, it would have to be on the weekend, but that was our family time and that got in the way. So now that I do stay at home, I can film, I can edit, and I can enjoy my hobby. That um, That's why I started YouTube because it was a hobby for me. It was something to do. So that is all about me, you guys. So if you enjoy cleaning and organization, make sure you subscribe. Like a light, lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words
Been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to live best because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is in.
all right so let me just kind of go over what i did nothing too special here got rid of some of the stuff that was here that has to stay here because i don't know if it's going up in the attic or going to um somewhere else i don't know package for my husband and this right here i have to redo this table so this got some paint on it from when we're doing this room um, i left it alone because i want to redo this whole entire thing here i think i'm going to sand it completely down give it just a whole new um look um, because i'm going for a different type of um vibe in the house so i just kind of put this here for now and then the kids charging station this is this is where they're going to charge their um, phones now at night and then this um i actually picked this up from the thrift store i meant to paint it but i've just haven't had time so i kind of left it like this and then i got some olive branches from walmart for like three dollars so i don't know if i'm just gonna leave it like this or make it into something else um here um i have to mob so that's why everything is out of the way but nothing um crazy here i just made sure that i wiped down all these um cabinets down here all this um these are pretty bad we definitely need new cabinets and my husband and i talked about that the other night so we're definitely um this can't be they're not salvageable well they might be but we're not we're just going to get new cabinets um so nothing too special cleaned out the microwave cleaned out the oven so for the oven i will show you i did not do that part but i did do right here that i'll leave for another time because i'm on a time crunch um and i polished the fridge here um and then let's see this got a nice vacuum so i just have to mop all this and then right here all this is going to go away because my new furniture piece is over there and i'm just going to go ahead and try to build that possibly i don't know um so that is it because all i really want to do is the kitchen this area and this area that over there we're not messing with um let's see the trash that is goodwill stuff so all this right here is goodwill and then that is going to go back over here once i mop and then that should be it for this video y'all wait to the end when you see me pour this dirty water down the toilet it was so so nasty Show you what a good time looks like You can't do better So much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just be Alright y'all that is it for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one so